Hi guys, we are at our new listing at 875 Oakland Valley Road in Forestburg, uh, also Cuttabackville. So you're right on the border here of Sullivan County and Orange County. And this property actually has the best of both worlds. So you have an Orange County mailing address um, and you are Orange County distance to the city but you pay Sullivan County taxes, which is great. So I'm just gonna show you guys, that's the driveway there. You'll see our photographers here doing some drone photos. It is two acres and the way that the house sits, it's on one acre. So everything you just saw is one acre. And then as we go this way, that is the Never Sink River back there, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. And then there is an adjacent lot here that is another acre that is 100% buildable. There is already a well on it, which the current owners use for this really nice veggie garden that they have over there. There's a little chicken coop and then this um, little tiny house that uh, I don't remember the exact story, but I know that it does bring good luck to the garden and you can keep you know, your tools and supplies in there too. So really beautiful here, really quiet. The road does get a little bit of through traffic and it is a little bit faster, but I think if you just put some fencing up and planted some more trees, which you can see there are some that are, you know, more babies over there. And then the property line goes back here to where you see that line of trees by that one neighbor that you can see. Other than that, totally private. Really long driveway, tons of space for parking if you're entertaining, which let me tell you, this is a house for entertaining. You have this great wraparound porch here. And the current owners actually built this. It's totally stick built. They chose the best of everything made some really good decisions and then normally I start inside but this house you kind of have to start in the back and they do have their dogs out here so you're gonna hear them a little bit but look at this amazing fire pit area outdoor dining area and then they have this amazing gazebo right overlooking the river with a 10 person hot tub so again perfect house for entertaining and here is the river, which the property actually owns halfway through. Uh, so just halfway across. And then behind you here is forever wild land. So you don't have to worry about anybody developing and you can go down here, you can kayak through here, fish, swim. I mean, you name it. And then they even built this really nice outdoor kennel for their dogs, which realistically has a lot of potential to be a lot of other things. It is a building that has heat, so it could definitely be a studio. And then the platform right now where they have the kennel would be like a great little stage or yoga platform. And the dogs are gonna go crazy, but again, just have to show you guys this. It's so, nicely done you have the electric you have the fan out here and then while you're entertaining you're right here i know so many people want water frontage and this is just something else <laughs> so i'm just going to walk you guys around and we'll go inside and check it out beautiful day too. Great day for photography for sure. All right. So you do have all of these uh, benches out here, which are all Amish built. Again, they, they really went with high quality and a lot of local um, pieces too. Most of the things in this house were kind of source locally. Um, so here we are. So again, great little outdoor area. You have all of the electric out here also. 
And then I'll quickly walk you around here. I know we're five minutes in and I haven't even brought you inside yet, but the outdoors are just too good. Okay. So go right into the foyer area here, which is all local bluestone. And I believe even local brick. So they did a nice job. They were very intentional about tying things together throughout the house. So as you walk in, you have these ridiculously high ceilings and beautiful beams here that were also sourced locally. The wood everywhere. These um, rails here are actually from a New York City bridge that was taken down. They have a nice coat closet when you walk in, and then this is another coat closet. They didn't want to waste any of the space. And then as you go to your right here, you go into the kitchen. So beautiful hickory cabinets. You know, really spacious workspace. And if you know us, you know we're always going to show you the view over the sink. So you get a little bit of the river there, the beautiful gazebo. You have all of this bluestone river rock design for the backsplash, which ties in with the rest of the house. So you guys will see that. Tons of cabinet space, nice gas range. Your island, which has more storage and electric. And it's open right to the dining area here which is so charming. All of these views. So dining room, kitchen, and then it goes into the living room area here, which has the sliders that go to the wraparound porch. This is a pellet stove. It's hard to see, but it's actually a cranberry color. And these are really great because they don't get hot. The very front of it gets hot, but the top does not. So it's, like I said, very safe, super efficient. There is still, if somebody wanted a wood stove specifically, the um, outlet vent is behind the TV here. But again, all this bluestone work throughout the house is amazing. There's kind of your open floor plan. And I'll bring you back around and show you the um, other piece here. So this is just the garage, um, but then you do have a powder room, which you can see again, that bluestone kind of river rock coloring um, for the floor, the tiling. And then everything is very cohesive. You have the hickory cabinetry, the matching countertops, even these mirrors were locally sourced, which is really cool. Then you have here the garage. So nice two car garage, super spacious, tons of storage, electric garage door opener. And then we're going to go upstairs. So again, the foyer area here so you can see. Sorry, I can tell the lighting isn't the best, but it'll do the trick. So beautiful stairs, kind of a rustic finish. And again, even like the banisters here are so nice. So you get this great view with the trees through the window up here. So you have first of the bedrooms, all really nice size, nice big windows. You get a lot of light in here, big closets. 
So you have three guest bedrooms. This is the second one. This one is, in my opinion, one of the best because you get the river view out of here. I mean, come on. And there is that little studio building that I mentioned and the dogs are, you know, right in here. And that platform could be a great little stage. It could be a yoga platform. The building there could be easily turned into a little studio or workshop. So a lot of different options. And then as we go down here, you have the second bathroom. This is a full bathroom. And again, everything is matching throughout the house, the same matching mirrors. This is a tub. And just nice and clean, totally turnkey. And then you have here a little laundry room. Again, great laundry room. Get to see the river, see what's going on outside. This shelf, they actually used an old shutter that was reclaimed locally. So again, really cool repurposing. And then as you enter this third guest room, which could potentially um, be the primary bedroom if somebody wanted or, you know, has a lot of different options. Also, they brought the brick in here to match the entryway. You have the pine ceilings. And this room is just great. So you have this little entryway section here, which is pretty wide, and then it opens up to this. So they're using this as their home gym slash office. You have these great beams. Again, all of these locally sourced pieces that just really add to the charm of this place. And then this wall here is all wood from an old barn that was taken down. So you can see that there's different colors, different um, kind of pieces. Like for instance, this beam, you can see it's not fully painted red and that's because the batten board, the way that it was on the barn, only part of it was painted. Just really great space here. And then, as we go back through, we go to the primary bedroom. So when you came up the stairs, you would have made a left instead of a right. So here is your main bedroom. Again, great, amazing. The current owners, when they were building this, specifically put the windows up a little higher just to give them extra privacy so they didn't lose the view, but nobody outside, if they were entertaining, could see in. And again, all of these rooms get pretty great light. And here is the primary bathroom. So you have your double sinks. Again, same matching um, style of mirror, beautiful cloth foot soaking tub. Then you have this shower, which again is all of that slate. Even the um, shelving in there is all bluestone, which is awesome. And it's really nice and spacious. All right, and then we can go downstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the basement. So the basement is unfinished. The current owner started to um, do a lot of stuff down there and then figured now that he's decided to sell, it makes more sense to kind of leave it a little bit more of a blank canvas for the next people. So basement door right next to the dining room in between the dining room and the living room. All right. I 
again, unfinished basement, but they have all of the supplies, everything that the next person would need to finish it off, and it's huge. So the house is over 2,000 square feet, and then with the basement being finished would be over 3,000 square feet. And they already have this framed out for a bathroom. They have the toilet. They have the sink. They have all of the pieces to the puzzle. And then those stairs there go out to the Bilco doors. So his idea was to kind of make this the place where if you're outside, you're hanging by the river, you can go swimming, you can come right through these doors here, come downstairs, you can get a drink, you'll have like a little mini bar. He already has it set up to have plumbing for the bar that he imagined going right here. You have the bathroom if you need to take a shower or anything like that. And then you have your storage here. So this is actually a cold cellar. So the way that it was insulated, it stays cold while the rest of the house stays hot. So it's great for a wine cellar if somebody wanted to um, do something with meats to be able to keep them in the cold room. It'd be awesome. Then here you have your oil tank and some mechanicals and storage and then your other mechanicals right through there. So again, really nice big space, so much potential and you really get to choose what you want to do with it and how you want to finish it. All right, so I'm just gonna take you back outside quickly. And then that'll be it. So again, this back area is really everything. So you have your little studio building, your gazebo with your insane 10 person hot tub your stairs down to the river, fire pit, and then over this way, you have your garden and your chicken coop. I mean, it really has everything. So this again is 875 Oakland Valley Road in Forestburg. And if you have questions, just write to listings at upstate-realestate.com. Thanks guys.